<laughs> Dude, I think he saw me. Oh no. Oh my gosh. That could be good. Bow! Today we're doing a gas station cheap versus expensive fishing challenge. Today we're at Chamblee's, which is a local gas station that happens to have the biggest outdoor section I've ever seen in a store before. It literally has everything. It's crazy. It's like a Bass Pro Shops if you just and shoved it in a 7-Eleven. That's exactly right. Exactly, exactly right. And if that guy would have hit my buddy A.O., we would have been fighting. Dude, they, uh, they, he was coming in hot like he didn't like our generation. For sure. We've been doing boat projects. We've been working. We haven't been fishing in a very long time. Today, got my good buddy Smalls here. We're going back to where we started this shindig. There's a spillway on the river that some of you OGs might remember, but I haven't been there in probably half a year. It's probably been the same for me because I've got kids now. Uh, Fisher or Smalls? Yeah, yes, yeah. Appreciate it. Thank you, dude. <laughs> I appreciate you. Yeah, bro. Just got another subscriber. Regardless, guys, what we're about to do is flip a quarter. We've got a $300 budget and a $100 budget, and we don't know who's going to get which. That's why we're flipping the quarter. Who's calling it in the air? You're calling in there, okay? You have to buy rod, reel, bait, everything you need for the fishing day, okay? Okay. Tails. Hey. Woo! Yes! Yes! This is big for me. I've been down for a while. This is big for me. I got $300, you got $100. I like it. I'm going in the gas station, we're gonna spend some money, I'm gonna get out on the water. Challenge today, biggest fish, not most. Okay, I like that challenge. Yeah. Swap it up a little bit. This yeah. ain't no tournament. We're out here going for one big fat salad. Chunky monkeys. All right, Smalls, we made it in the store. I want to keep things a little interesting for you. We got $100 to spend two minutes. Two minutes. Two minutes. I think I can do that. Two okay. minutes is plenty of time for me to spend $100. Yeah. My wife will tell you I can do that way quicker. Way quicker. <laughs> All right, ready, brother? I'm ready. Three, two, timer's going. Boom. Let's get it, guys. First thing I want to find is a rod and reel. We only got $100, so I do want a spinning rod and reel. We've got one right there for 37. Don't want it. I want something a little bit higher. I got my eyes on this one right here. Mike Iconelli series, we got 72 bucks. So we got a minute and a half left, brother. Got a minute and a half. Not gonna be hard. I do want to see if I can find a little bit nicer rod and reel. This one here's 43. Don't really like it though. This is it right here, but we're at 129. Yeah, 129. We're a yeah, little over nice budget, stuff. and I've already went over budget on everything I've spent in my whole life. So <laughs> immediately I'm gonna start looking for hooks because all I want to throw is the wacky rig. And don't tell AO because that is exactly what they're gonna be biting today. And that's literally the only thing you need on our river pretty much 90% of the year. Yeah, so like I said, guys, you wanna throw a Carolina rig on the river and you wanna throw it all day. Uh, circle hooks we don't need. <gasps> you are down to 30 seconds, brother. Oh gosh. Okay, we're going straight to, to the move, trail cars. Bro. You need to move. We're taking these and all I need is a brim colored wacky rig uh, black we don't want black we don't want black how many seconds do i have you got 20 seconds i have 20 seconds watermelon pearl green pumpkin oh green pumpkin we need that 10 seconds 10 seconds we're just getting in the back of these because i promise you this is all we need in case they don't want dark we got light bam timer off we got basically ten dollars worth okay. of Cinco. And it already comes with an O-ring. So oh, I didn't even have to, Yeah, you know what I mean? So I didn't have to spend any money on an O-ring. We've also got seven dollars worth of wacky rig hooks. We're at what 17 bucks? Yep. And then we have a $72 Mike Iconelli series pre-lined because yeah. we're on a budget. Attaboy. As long as AO doesn't buy a wacky rig, we're gonna be in good shape and we'll win the challenge. So like I said, Carolina rig all the way. All right, you ready to spend two minutes? Going through here? Yeah. You feel, you feel confident? I feel very confident. I feel very confident. Me too. <laughs> I think I'm about to do it. Just give it to me. Boom. Two minutes. All right, Go. I'm gone. Oh, there's nobody behind the desk. There is a glass container up front that has all the nice rails in there. We're going to go there last. We're going there first. So, most expensive reels are always in the glass. Don't even waste your time looking through the combos. Most expensive spinning reel is looking around 
$60-90. Baitcaster combo, $130. We got an Abu Garcia Trevo S. Hey man, could I get this uh, Abu Garcia, the Revo? Uh, can I do that white one? Yes, sir. Matter of fact, if you'll hold it behind the counter for me, I'll be back. Thank you, sir. All right, $130 reel. I went with this slower reel, got the 6.6 gear ratio instead of the 7.3, so you kind of fish anything you want with it. I'm naturally a little ADHD behind a reel. So we got rods. Rod is the next thing. I like knocking out the big purchases first. $60, 35 ooh, medium heavy, 7.6. Abu Garcia, that is the Veritas. I like that. What was that, 116? 116 plus 130. 246 dollars you're at one minute my friend all right Dude, will you hold your entire budget just in my rod thank you i never won these challenges i just i don't know why i did that i feel kind of bad about that all right next thing we're going to need is some line we're only spooling this thing up once because we're on a budget i spent most of my money we'll get the cheapest spool we got some trialing for five bucks I, I want light green i want a light green girl here we go Shoot, dude, it's like the time just makes you like uh, real sweaty. I don't think it's the time. Okay. Five, four and a half, call it five bucks, just be on the conservative side. I just wanted to take this opportunity to let you know you're at 30 seconds. Thank you, sir. All right, we got that. Um, I know this is dumb, it's a sunny day outside, but I love top water. We're gonna do walking bait. He's literally uh, picking out all the good stuff. KVD hard knock. That's gonna imitate some crawfish too. Last thing, my favorite thing to throw on the river. We're gonna get the last two oh, black and blue strike king jigs. We need trailers. A trailer we can kind of bite it too. Makes a good trailer. We can afford two of these. All right. We can afford there. two of these. I'll share. I'm just kidding. All right. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, you said, hey, will you hold your entire budget with my one rod? Thank you. <laughs> Sweet, dude. Well, it looks like you racked up. Dude, I am feeling very confident. They got my reel behind the counter. Got a medium heavy. I could use this rod for a very long time. I could pole vault on this rod. Here's the one catch in today's video that I haven't told you yet. Okay. The winner of today's challenge keeps all the gear. Shallow water, rocky little stretch. We gotta make it like 50 yards, pretty windy. But if we make it through here, should be safe the rest of the day. If we don't make it through here, we're going home. Or at least Taco Bell. Shallow today, boy. Shallow. Sha -la 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 -la. All right, we've made it to my favorite spot to fish ever. I got my Abu Garcia Revo, 6.1 gear ratio. I think it's six to six to one. Pretty good. Kind of an all around. And I'm an all around kind of guy. Got my big baits, stick bait we're starting with. I got this norm, normal Texas rig, trocar hook. The Mike Iconelli Abu Garcia. I think this thing came paired with, at first I thought it was gonna be a 10 pound line. I'm pretty sure this is like six. So we're gonna have this drag set real nice. Got my extra sharp trocar wacky rig hook with my weed guards. So me and Smalls are rigged up. We're gonna take both combos. We're gonna go up to this grass growing up here. There's a shallow flat. I have a feeling it's a one spot boats can't get to. So we're leaving the boat as soon as we get back into the boat for the first time in six years. <laughs> leaving her behind. Wading up river. We're gonna see whose combo does best. Let's get to work. Yes, sir. It always makes me nervous casting a nice reel for the first time. Feel like I'm just gonna <laughs> mess it up like yeah. first cast. Yeah, bait like backlash to the core. Oh yeah. Right. Okay. <laughs> wow, dude. <laughs> wow. I definitely feel like there's snakes all in here. This looks real snaky. Real snaky. Good lord. Dang, bro. Did you just walk through this? Yeah. Dude, that looks so snaky. Yeah, I know. 
gosh. I so hope we here's where it starts, bro. Yeah. Wait on out. Wow, this thing casts really nicely and it's also super smooth. It says we got four ball bearings. Feels pretty good for just four ball bearings. All right, I made about 20, 30 casts with this reel. And I would say it's probably well worth the price point. I think the next test is gonna see how it holds up against a fish. Covering ground, baby. Man, I wish I would have brought my jig with me. I'm kicking myself. My favorite lure to throw up here. The one thing that we can fish the bottom with, I grab my top water and my, and my stick dates. Do our best with what we got though. All right guys, so I've got a little bit of an idea right here. My bait has no weight to it, so it's really hard to fish in this current. But where I have positioned myself, I'm just gonna drop this bait right here and I'm just gonna feed it slack and let that bait wash out with the current, make it look like a dying brim of some sort. And we're gonna see if we can't trick one of these big shoal bass or spotted bass or something into biting our bait. Before we go any further, I need to tell you about today's video sponsor, Aura. And to help me, I have my brother-in-law, Lewis. All right. No. <laughs> <laughs> you, no. You got this, you got this. All right, so from the top, right? So I sat down and Tried to open up my editing class and um <laughs> which ain't working very well because joke. It's a joke. It showed like a virus and then it showed like call Apple support or whatever underneath it. And so I called Apple support. And it wasn't Apple support. It wasn't Apple support. It was a scam. And they stole everything I had. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Scoot over a little bit. <laughs> Well, I mean, well, I thought you were just gonna move the camera. So some of you have seen this. Is my brother, wow. my brother-in-law Lewis. He's been helping me film some, edit some. We're doing an editing class, and the other day he opened up his laptop to do the editing class. Apple thing pops up. It was a scam. Pop-up virus. They were moving money around in your bank account. They almost took everything he owned. Yeah, they got a control of my phone and everything. <laughs> we lucked up because Lewis has terrible credit and, and so they weren't able to really use his identity for anything. Um, so we spend the next couple days trying to figure out who we're going to use as a VPN, as a virus protector, and that is when we got into contact with Aura. If you've never heard of Aura, they are a one-stop place for you to keep your family safe online. They have everything from VPNs, antivirus, identity theft insurance, password management, parental controls, all in one place. Aura goes out and opts you and your family members out of these scam calls so you won't get as many scams and robocalls. They're gonna protect your private information and they also have all those different things that could help you avoid situations like we had a week ago. If you guys want to try two weeks completely free of aura click on the link in the description or go to aura.com slash ao two weeks completely free link in the description thanks aura back to today's video i know there's gonna be a fish in one of these little pools that love top water it's gonna happen just gotta keep moving keep casting Oh, oh, did he come off? No, I got smoked. Absolutely obliterated. Oh, my drag wasn't set, dude. Crap, crap. Oh, oh, no, no, no. <laughs> dude, I think he saw me. Oh no. Oh my gosh. That could be good. Oh baby. Come on girl. Oh, it was a couple of them. I don't think it was as good as I thought. It hit it like a bowling ball. I don't know, I can't tell. It's in the water. Might be a chunky little 
Ooh. Ooh. What do we have here, guys? I don't know if it's good or bad. He's fighting good. What are you? I'm scared. Oh, I think it's a striper. I think, oh yeah. <laughs> I was wondering why he was dogging me for a three pounder. I was like, holy smokes. Come here, buddy. I feel like these are the fish that just put three treble hooks in your face. Yes, sir. Oh yeah. That is a chunky, chunky fish. God, he obliterated it. I knew as soon as we put on top water, we had a chance of catching these fish. For some reason, this guy looked really dark when he hit, so I thought it was a largemouth. <laughs> yeah, baby. Oh, that was awesome, dude. Thank you so much. Look at those fins, man. It has been a long time since I've fought a fish like that. Ow. He drew blood blood for blood dude that was awesome let's see if he was by himself or not fish on baby fish on baby Oh, tummied up. Look at this big girl. Got the nice little shoal bass. She is super short, but man, she has got a tummy on her. Oh my goodness. I haven't even seen this. Look what she ate. These crawfish are super red right now. I had no idea. That's crazy. Pretty, pretty fish though. These shoal bass guys, they're gorgeous. They're by far my favorite species to catch. It's time to let this little girl swim another day. Gosh, dude, I love these fish. That was awesome. He came up three different times for it. God. <laughs> He's pulling so hard. Has Ayo got another one? God, he might have all. <laughs> Come on, buddy. Yes, sir. Ayo done caught another one. Oh, my gosh. He's got another one that looks pretty good. <laughs> oh, sorry, dude. I just... I'm not sick anymore, I swear. Fever's gone for like three days. <coughs> Dude, I promise it's just a cough. A little bit smaller, but still an awesome fish. Oh gosh, those scare me every time. Get the hook out quick as possible. These things fight so hard for their size. Woo, that's two on top. Let's see if you got anybody else with you. Thank you, brother or sister. And I will say the rod reel did really good, especially with the amount of pressure that was put on a medium heavy. I'm impressed. I'm gonna get on down in this water. Cool off. Oh, it's deep. Ayo is on again. Are you kidding me? Maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe it just looked like it. I believe these head and plugs come with saltwater hooks too. So it's almost a little bit more tougher, a lot better for fighting those stripes than those hooks weren't bent out at all. If you go with those with normal bass lures, they'll bend out your crankbait hooks so quick. Oh my gosh. I didn't realize I had a fish on that. Just, I just saw my, <laughs> I just saw my bait come flying out of the water. Little Sholey. Is that what that is? Yeah. Could tell if it was a showly or a gigantuous perch. Calm down, buddy. Yeah. Red-eyed showly. Three on the board. That was so crazy. I was just cranking. My lure's been diving down. Okay, Smalls. Fish on, baby. Feels like a good one, guys. Oh my God. I have a giant. A giant? I have a giant. Oh, I've got a really, really, really big one on. Oh my God. Come on, buddy. Come on, baby girl. Come to Papa. That looks like a good. I got some gear to win. Get him, boss. Come on, baby. Yeah. Woo! Yes, is that a Sholey? 
Lord Mal. All right, All right. Guys. Just caught this. Big That's girl. a chunky shoal. Yes, sir. She's we, uh, pretty too, man. Dude, gorgeous fish. We've got a brand new set of Berkeley scales. I'm talking fresh out of the pack. Got an extra ounce too. That's what's up. I don't know what the deal is with the extra yeah. ounce. Got an extra ounce, and we just threw three three eighth ounce tungstens in this fish. So. <laughs> Good thing we're in a tournament. All right, my guess is three on the dot. Holding it 211. Oh, show. Sure. I thought I had a three pounder, but if I go ahead and use these few tunks and weights I got. That's three all day. It's three all day. <laughs> One thing we didn't do, and this is what you want to always do. Weigh it twice. <laughs> no, well, you want to weigh them wet. Oh, okay, okay, my bad, my I bad. mean, they're fish, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Hush. Come on, baby. Three flat, dude. Throw a little water on them. <laughs> yeah, that's big Shoot. deal. Yeah, big deal. Remember that, dude. I called that. That was crazy. <laughs> Baby. Oh. We're gonna hop back in the boat. Yes, sir. GoPro up. We think they're bedding downstream. Gonna fish a little bit different. See if we can put some other lures to work. Let's do it, homie. All right, so we fished down the entire stretch of river we just made it up to. We waited, then we fished again for about the last hour and a half, fishless. Fishless, baby. We got one more area that we want to fish. It's a little tough to get to. They're about to start generating. Haven't been here in probably two years. Yeah, so it's definitely changed. Like, you know how it is, sandbars are formed and- Oh yeah. So we may not even be able to make it to this spot, but if we can, I think it'll go good. This is going to be worth it. It's so worth it. So many fish. Yeah, I think we weigh the same thing. Yeah, we probably do. Yeah. How much you weigh? Like two, two, probably 255 right now. I bet you I'm 250 flat. Really? Yeah. <laughs> we just took 500 pounds out of this boat, dude. <laughs> we look like some, uh, I believe they call it white trash. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh. That uh, I think we broke free right there, we girl. Did. You want to try to hop in? Yeah. Now this right here does not look good at all. I mean, there's a little cut. If we got to that, oh God, this ain't good at all. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> That scares me. I just feel like there's something down there to grab me and pull me under. <laughs> I feel like this is deep enough to do it. It honestly may be. It's just this part right here is sketchy. Yeah. That's not coming out. That's not moving either. We can go over, dude. Can we push it over? I think we got it. Let's do it. Three, two. I'm gonna end up with a hernia. You scared about putting all this weight on your boat like this? No. <laughs> wow. How'd you lose your boat? <laughs> well, that log is really doing things to us. Yeah, that's the only problem. All right, we got it if it wasn't for that. Dude, I don't know what you're gonna think about it. I really don't know what you're gonna think about it. I know it. you do. Uh, I knew it. One, two, three, go. 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 Whoa, now listen when I'm counting. <laughs> Ooh, buddy. One, two, three, go. One, two, three, go. Do some, dude. No. <laughs> <laughs> Understood. See what you understand is this: we're all being tested. A lot of you are gonna die, but a nice and preserved body. No plates. Thanks, man. Okay. Appreciate you. I figured you might need it. I did. How much more of that logs left in shop? I think you're gonna be surprised. Surprised. 
<laughs> Crazy how little water you really need. Never grow up, dude. Never do it. Don't pay your taxes. It's like you don't want to quit, but you can't chop your feet because uh, you lose your shoes. One, two, three. Look at a floating, dude. Shoot. Come on now. Give me some. I like it. Nope, let's forget. That one's flat. <laughs> Dude, that's, uh, that's that heavy, baby. <laughs> Give me one more. Uh, Over for boy. <laughs> you know about that? Oh, my goodness. I want to skip way up under there. Where's that one bit? Oh no. Oh no. Smalls? Yeah. Okay, never mind. Ah, uh, <laughs> you had a turtle. <laughs> Dude, I know this is dangerous. Ain't no such thing as dangerous. But I feel like if I get it caught in that tree, dangle it right there on top. Oh, dude, a fry garter. Yeah. You see that fry garter? I'm launched. Oh God. I'm gonna be tying on oh, my jig. Got him! Oh nice! That a boy. Oh, that's so cool in that clear water, dude. Nice. Hey. That was on. Did you sit? You I saw him eat it. Yeah. He was sitting right there with a bunch of fry. Pretty, Pretty fish, fish though, right? I mean. Gorgeous. 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 I love them when they gorgeous. Go protect your babies. Give me some, bro. Shoot. I mean, it's just a little something. You, you know. know. Nothing major. <laughs> you know. We, I mean, we ain't really thinking about it. All right, we're shooting now one more skinny stretch. Hoping to find some bed and fish or some hungry topwater girls. There is a boulder at the end of the chute that you gotta dodge last second. Oh, shin bone. We made it. Good work, brother. Is he on still? Uh -huh. oh, he's on. Oh my gosh. Dude, you got a nice one. Yeah, dude. It that, may not even be a bass. It may that be was bad. worth all three hours. That I tell you real. what, dude. If I could go back in time three hours ago. Hey, prettiest fish though? <laughs> by far. Most as aesthetic. Oh, nice. It's a pretty fish. I'll give it to him. Three hours of hard work, baby. Just keep pushing. Never know when that pumpkin seed's going to come back up. All right, small. So everything that we bought today boils down to how big this striper was. And I don't want to be the one to call the weight. I have to call it. I want you to call the weight based off what you see on this GoPro clip. <sighs> okay. Dude, that's too close to call. I can't. I, I can't make a call on that. It either needed to be bigger or smaller. It, feel, it looks like it's literally right there. <laughs> you think it's three? I think that's a three, bro. Okay, so if that's three, how many fish did you catch? Two up there, and then one at the the fry guard, and so then I caught that was it. three and a pumpkin seed. So it's you. Pumpkin seed put me over. Pumpkin seed got you. <laughs> pumpkin seed brim always silly deal. <laughs> Well, shout out to that pumpkin seed. Sorry about your face, man, but 
appreciate it for the dog. If you guys enjoy watching us on the river again, please let me know. I freaking love filming these videos. So if we can get out and do a little bassing, a little shoal bass hunting, get on the river anytime with Smalls, it's a blast. Go check out Smalls' channel. And until then, I'll see you on the next time. All right, I'll, I'll see you on the next one. On the road to like 25 subscribers, please be sure and hit like, subscribe, <laughs> share the video. Get me to 27 subscribers. My mom used to tell me I gave the best hose. Congrats. Thank you. Oh. What you mean, you ain't having fun? This ain't what you wanted to do on your one day off. Ah.